Hello, welcome to our Words for Living task for today. Um, so today we are going to be looking at actually doing a little bit of um, river research. Um, so for some of you, um, it's, it's all about actually being able to find uh, relevant information. Um, now, some of you, we've made the task a little bit more open-ended. We've given you less scaffolding um, to do it. Some of you, we've given you some more scaffolding. Um, and then some of you are also going to be looking at um, producing this work um, from an observation from a picture that you can actually see and making us some nice sentences. So your task is to use a computer to find um, out information about a river that you choose. So you might want to do one that's quite local to us. We've got things like the Thames, we've got the Medway, we've got the Darrant, um, the uh, uh, River Cray, which goes through Footscray, um, and Bexley Heath as well. So there are various rivers um, around us that you may want to do. Um, I want you, you will notice that on your question sheets for um, some of you, you have got some words that are underlined. Make sure you're using the right definition. If you remember a little while ago, um, we had a look at actually using a dictionary um, to find out the, uh, the definitions of these various words. So we had source, mouth. If you remember, mouth could mean the mouth on your face, but actually for a river, it means something very, very different, doesn't it? Okay, um, and all rivers have a source and all rivers have a mouth. Okay, um, I'm not going to give you those definitions again, but what you can do is you can go back and check on your work that you did previously um, that will actually help you out with that. So um, we have got various questions here um, that you can be asked. So what is the source of the river? Why, where is the mouth um, of the river? Notice how they've got there's slightly different wordings on that. Uh, which towns in brackets, if any, because there's, you know, most rivers will go through, but if you choose a really obscure river, it might not actually go through a town. Um, there's a river flow through. You notice flow is one of the words that is underlined again. Um, does a river flow through a city? So if you think about it, if you choose a River Thames, does a River Thames flow through a city? You can find out that piece of information. Can you use boats on the river? Now, um, I'm going to explain this to you. So there is a word that you use here, which is navigable. OK, and this is a word that is associated specifically with rivers. Um, and if a river is navigable, it means it's wide enough. It means it's deep enough to actually um, have a boat, um, you know, sort of, or take a boat along it. You know, I'm not talking about a little um inflatable that you might get at the seaside or something like that, you know, because they will be able to go in pretty much any river. Um, but actually, you know, is that, and there are certain rivers as well, which uh, it gets too shallow beyond a certain point, or maybe there are obstructions, there are barriers across the river as well to stop people going up. Um, can you use ships on the river? Some of the bigger rivers actually do have ships that go up them as well. Um, has the river ever flooded? That's going to be quite an interesting one. Um, and does the river have any flood barriers on it? So, and those two questions obviously related to each other. Um, now, this is to kind of give you some guidance. You may not get all of this done, but actually what we're going to be looking to do is today, we're not asking you to write a big, long piece about it. We're asking you to make notes so that in the future, so next week, what you can do is the next part of this work is that you can actually write up and you can make a little fact file about the river that you have chosen um, to look at. Okay, so this isn't your neatest, this isn't your final bit of work. You do need to be able to read it though still. Okay, that is really, really important. You, you need to be able to read your notes. You need to think carefully about how you take and how you make your notes. You need to think, okay, when I come back to this next week, am I going to understand what I have written down? Will it help me to make this fact file? Um, so you can see here, this one here, you've only got a couple of questions. Um, obviously, you've heard me speak about some of the questions already. Um, but uh, this will, this kind of means it's more down to you really to sort of choose the information that you think is relevant, the information that you think um, you should find out about this. And then finally, uh, we've got this one here. So you can see we've got some colourful semantics and they're there to help you make a sentence. Um, and down here is you've got who, what are they doing, uh, what, where, when. Okay. Um, and 
those are just to help you and you can see all of these um, are color coded. So if we um, chose uh, this person here, we could say, if we chose our correct one here, so we could say, okay, right, so uh, the girl, um, uh, what's the girl, uh, okay, is sitting on the bench, um, ah, by the wheelbarrow, okay? So the girl is sitting on the bench by the wheelbarrow. You might want to, you know, choose a, there are potentially there's more than one combination there that you could actually use for that one there. But that would just be an example. So choose which one of these you want to go for. So you've got the wishing well, the duck, the candles, the picnic box, the bridge. Okay. And then you can build up and use this to actually build up your sentence. Cool. Excellent. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing these sentences, guys. Um, I'm really looking forward to um, seeing you know, some of your notes and then you being able to use those notes to make your presentation, or not your presentation, but your fact um, file or your little fact poster next week associated with the river that you have chosen. Brilliant, okay, thank you very much. And um, I will hopefully uh, see you in the Zoom sessions today. The, uh, the Zoom sessions are there. Um, so that um, we can give you a little bit of feedback about your work. You can ask any questions. Um, you might just want to drop in and have a little bit of a chat, but you know, please bring along um, you know, some of your work. Um, if you haven't already dropped it into the folders, bring along some of your work so that uh, we can give you a little bit of feedback. You can sort of talk us through it, um, and that'd be really, really good. Fantastic. Cool. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you, hopefully, like I said, in the Zoom session. Bye-bye. Thank you.